What's up guys? So here we are back with part two of the Pixel Challenge. So this in this video, this is the switch up video that I did with my wife when I switched my iPhone loving wife over to the Pixel 8 Pro. So yeah, if you've already seen part one, part one covered the setup and the transferring of data and all that kind of stuff. Part two is going to cover her experience. So this is going to be her using the phone day to day and just giving a bit of insight into her experience. So without further ado, here we go. Hi everyone. So update. I have to first of all apologize because I haven't picked up the camera as much as I probably should have to document. Um, but I just haven't been feeling very well. But here we go. I'm doing it now. But so far I am fully switched over to the Pixel and I must admit now the setup didn't go just as kind of straightforward as I would have liked. It did test my patience a little bit um, but we got there in the end and I'm, I'm fully moved over. Um, I'm moved so yeah so far it's okay I will keep my overall my final thoughts and everything till the end I have been jotting things down things that I have found that I have liked things that I maybe don't like um and yeah but uh, like I am using it so far there's been nothing major that I have found that I I don't like or that I haven't been able to do so far it's just different it's just a different way of doing things and yeah it's just getting used to it really is is the thing but the reason also that I've picked up the camera now is because I haven't been out in the car yet and I do need to nip out now and do some messages and stuff Um, go to Tesco's so I thought I would bring you along when I plug it into the car I'm not sure what way this is going to go because as I've said before I obviously use Apple Music and I use Apple Music in the car and I know I have downloaded Apple Music onto this so I'm going to see whether I'm going to still be able to get Apple Music up on the car um, because I don't know about you but I love being out in the car with the music on and just it's one of my favourite things to do to be honest so if I can't get my music um yeah it's going to be fun um but hopefully I'm being positive I'm being positive I'm not being negative hopefully it, it should be okay so I'll uh, catch up with you in a minute I'm in the car now and I've brought Michael along because I needed <laughs> I needed an extra pair of hands. So I've actually just realised that I picked this case which is MagSafe which is a good job because I don't know how else I would have I wouldn't have had anywhere to set my phone. So yeah. Here we go. Please, please, please be good. Please be good. <laughs> Okay, then see if I'll continue set up on your car screen. Hold on. Welcome to Android Auto. Requires permission. Okay. Continue. There you go, so there's Android Auto. Spotify. Allow access to messages. Finish. Finish. Okay, so this is different. So. Haha! <laughs> it's here! It's here! Guys, we're okay! <laughs> we're okay! <laughs> Library! Okay. Now this. Playlists. <laughs> Right, get to car, get to car, get to car. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes! Right, I'll just pause that. I don't know how 
I feel about the whole setup of it. Well, I'll be honest with you. Compared to the way the way Android Auto used to look, it's a lot better. Trust me. Oh, okay. Because it, it used to be a lot worse. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely they've definitely taken uh, aesthetic styling from Apple's CarPlay because it's definitely a lot nicer on the eyes than, than it used to be. Now, so normally I shuffle my playlist and stuff. You see, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm pleased now that I do have Apple Music because that was one thing that I did I was concerned about because yeah, I didn't want to not have my music in the car. Again, I suppose it'll take a bit of time to get used to it and stuff, but as long as I have Apple Music on there I don't mind. The setup with, does that already know to be paired with my phone for taking phone calls and stuff? Oh, okay. So that just automatically does that. You don't have yes. to. Oh, okay. Did you not notice that part when you were going through the setup? I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> I je I'm, I'm terrible. I'm just a, yes, okay, okay, okay. Because so far. You as I signed your life away there. Uh, well, this is it. And so far as you, yeah. You might find um, at the end, whenever I'm talking about this, I have so far my experience found the pixel very texty and very wordy and very, very wordy. But yeah, I can't think of the word to use right now. But yeah, I've got my music, so I'm happy. So on to the next, on to the next bit. So I'm back and all now from getting my groceries and I can say that it was a success. I unfortunately though didn't, I still am yet to use Google Pay um, because I went over the limit to use contactless but I imagine that it just would work the same as Apple Pay so I'm not really too worried about that but what I did do was save my Tesco club card onto the wallet. So I was able to just go in, scan the club card and still do my scan as a shop because I cannot go in and do a big shop not using scan as a shop. No, I'm just too used to it now. And um, yeah, I get a little bit trigger happy as, as Michael would say if we ever go together, which is very, very rare. Um, because yeah, we end up full night over who gets to scan the shopping. Um, yeah, I just love scanning it too much. So anyway, that's a whole, don't need to go and do all that. But yes, Android Auto, I'm pleased that it, um, yeah, it definitely went better than what I thought. And I do actually like the layout on the screen where I'm able to have my Apple Music up on one side and still Google Maps up on the other. So it's like a split screen. I like being able to have that all on the one screen, so. Yeah, and I did a call and everything in the car um, just to test out how easy it was to go in and call and stuff because, yeah, I need things to be simple. Um, and, yeah, it was pretty straightforward and so far a success. So nothing really on that side that I can complain about. It was all, it was all good. So, yeah. Update time! I have been using the Pixel for a week now and getting on actually not too bad. I just want to start off just to clarify because I know that a couple of people who know me personally have said there's no way you, you'll, you haven't switched over to the Pixel, you haven't given up your iPhone. I promise you everything has been transferred over and I'm using the Pixel. I don't have my iPhone, Michael has got it and I've only had it really just to that setting up period, you know, putting in passwords and getting everything transferred over, which I think Michael did film some of the setting up of the phone and the, the transfer process. So yeah, it was a bit testing. To say the least, I, I I am a very patient person, but whether I just I think was a bit 
anxious or not looking forward to the fact of transferring everything over it, it definitely it took a bit longer than than what i would have liked but all in all i can't really complain it could have been worse so everything has transferred over onto the pixel the only thing i have found is that the notes i would use notes an awful lot on my iphone and i thought they all had transferred over to the pixel but not all of them have some of them whenever i go into it it's still got the title but the rest of the note is blank so i'm missing some of those i'm not gonna open it up here now on this because i have personal information and stuff on it so i'm not gonna do that but other than that everything else all my apps some of the apps I actually went through and deleted it because once i get my iphone back i'm gonna go through and probably delete a lot because i don't I don't think I need the half of it some of it I don't really look at an awful lot so a clear out is something that I need to probably do on there but overall my experience so far is it's not majorly different from the iPhone a lot of the gestures and things are the same which which I do like and it did, I must admit, it did take me a while to get used to, which I suppose that, that goes for anything. It does take you a while to get used to something. But, and I think at the start, because I was making wee notes and stuff and going, I don't like this and I don't like that. And But if I'm honest, I don't think I was giving it enough time. Like, I was like, oh, the text is too small and there's too much of it. And But all I needed to do was literally go into the settings and turn the size of the text up and now it's a lot better so th things like that and the only things that I have found that I don't really like is the screen brightness it automatically turns itself down which I'm not a fan of because I do quite like my phone screen bright and a lot of the time Michael will pick up my phone and it, for something and he just go gosh and I do like it quite bright and I know it's probably you know for to help with your battery and stuff to and just and probably to help from my eyes really but I do like it quite bright um so so that's one thing that I have found a wee bit annoying is that often I do have to go in and turn the brightness back up again in terms of battery as i say there i don't know if i'm getting as much i of the battery i think the battery on my iphone lasts a bit longer um but then again i suppose i have had the phone in my hand quite a bit trying to you know play about with things and get it set up and and whatever i think that maybe could be why but yeah I just feel that the battery maybe isn't as good on this as my iPhone but I could be wrong I tried out playing a game last night on it I hadn't played a game on it yet and the amount of ads that came through was just annoying to be honest and I don't recall whenever I have played the game before on my iPhone I don't recall there being just as many ads now I could be, I could be wrong um but there does seem to be a lot of prompts and things with the pixel the other thing that I have found as well is sometimes the phone to touch and especially like I found it last night whenever I had put the game on the phone can get quite warm and yeah I don't know whether that's just I don't know because I had been playing the game and I maybe had been using it too much I don't know but it just did feel quite warm but other than that there's nothing really majorly with the phone that I don't like I am getting used to it actually quite quick and I like the fact that a lot of the gestures and things are the same there's nothing majorly different the only thing as i say at the start whenever i first started jotting down you know things 
I was like, I don't like this and I don't like that. And there were things that I was putting down as cons, but I couldn't really put them down as cons because it was more things that I miss from my iPhone. Like, for example, we would use shared albums for photos and things that we share, obviously, with family. And it's the fact that I just don't have access to that at the minute and so it's nothing against the pixel at all there's nothing that's that I can't do on it it's just things that I miss but apologies I really I, I told you I would show myself up because I'm not techie whatsoever um but there's probably more things that I could be trying out on this phone I haven't but I still have yet to take pictures and stuff I haven't really taken many pictures yet so I will do that and and compare i have obviously listened to music through it and i must admit i do f i do think the quality the sound quality on the iphone is better i could be wrong it could you know it's just my my personal preference i i personally just think it sounds better on the iphone and in terms of sound the buds i have used the buds and they're okay i don't think I like the fit of them in my ear they don't feel just as comfortably in as what the airpods do and I was listening to something the other night and I just happened to take one of them out and it wasn't until then that I realized because with the apple airpods as soon as you take one of them out it'll pause whatever you're listening to and this didn't pause, this continued, this kept going. So it's things like that and I tried out the noise cancellation and maybe it's just me, but I personally couldn't really hear a difference. I still could hear background noise. I still, yeah, it sounded just the same to me. I'm not a massive fan of the buds. I mean, they're okay, they do their job, but I prefer my AirPods. Overall, I'm a week down and I said I would give it a week and if I got on okay I would extend to two weeks so I'm going to do that. I'm going to continue to use it for another week and see how we go. So guys what did you think of Kylie's experience with the Pixel 8 Pro? Let me know in the comments down below. Kylie will reply to all comments on this video so if you have any questions about any of her experiences or anything that she did let her know in the comments down below and she will reply to you. I hope you liked the video guys, if you did smash that like button and don't forget to click that subscribe and ring that little bell to be notified of more videos just like this one. Part 3 is going to follow and part 3 will be the conclusion of the challenge where we will get Kylie's final thoughts on the Pixel 8 Pro and we'll answer the age question, did she switch from her iPhone to the Pixel 8 Pro? So stay tuned for that and until the next one, I'll catch you later.